I go to the movies. Yeah. And this one, it was, it was the cartoon movie. I considered recording this video in the daytime, but I did not do it because it was a little risque. I guess I was doing that for mostly like actual kids movies. This movie is kind of, I mean, I guess it's for teenagers and college age people. But it was a little risque with the innuendo, but nothing major. But anyway, so this movie, it was, uh, I saw it at the Regal, and it is called Bob Has a Burger, the movie. And uh, it is based on the the television show. I'm not sure if it's actually on television or if it's just a streaming show. I did watch some, like of the first season. I was going through this thing where I was watching a bunch of those uh, more adult cartoons. This one isn't really more adult, it doesn't really seem to me. It's, it's immature humor, but, you know, I guess it's not strictly for kids. As, and, and when I saw, I thought the I thought the show was funny. I just haven't, you know, really got into it. But I got a, a pretty good sense of the characters, you know, from what I watched. I, I watched, I think I watched most of the first season of Bob's Burgers. But yeah, so that's uh <laughs> it's the movie version. <laughs> they kind of play it like it's musical a little bit. There's some songs and some dances. I thought it was funny. I thought the movie was funny, you know. It was pretty good. And that one lady, Christian Christian Shaw, she's the voice of one of the girls, the one with the rabbit. And I think the dad is voiced by the same person who does Archer. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But the... <laughs> uh, but I was I was highly entertained by the movie. I mean, it's not the funniest thing I've ever seen in my in my days. But I, I thought it was humorous. Oh, like what I was saying with like the innuendo and stuff like that. It's like... There's like these throwaway jokes that the the son character says, you know, but it's, you know, it's nothing really. And then most of the jokes. OK, so the basic plot of this movie is. They have a loan from the bank they need to pay it back. But they can't. Because they can't sell any burgers because a sinkhole opened up in front of their. Their the restaurant. And so it's like most of the jokes in this this movie involve just saying the word whole, you know? It's like, I need, you know, <laughs> don't go into my hole or, you know, we got to fill this hole or, you know, it's just whole humor, you know? <laughs> so, you know. And then the, you know, the kids are having their, they have their little stories, like the son, he wants to be in a big rock band, and the girl with the ears, she wants to prove that she isn't the baby, and then the the story arc for the the girl, the nerdy girl or whatever, she, her thing is, uh, if she actually professes her love to someone, maybe she'll be upset because he won't live up to her fantasy or, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, those are the, there's like, basically the four stories, and they all kind of converge around this idea of trying to Save the restaurant sort of deal. But. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. An embarrassing human moment was caught on film. So. There is that. You know, there's these uh, weird characters like the landlord, the landlord's brother and their cousin. 
you know. There's this whole thing about the pier. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of it all revolves around what's happening at the pier sort of thing. Like, the, the whole end of the movie is basically at the pier. I guess it's based on something. It, it reminded me a lot of, uh, the the peers that are like in the Grand Theft Auto games. Mostly this one kind of reminded me of the one in 4 because there's like a carnival attached to it more than the pier in 5. Well, I guess there's a carnival in that one too. What is it with peers and carnivals? Looking thing. But yeah, there's this whole thing about the carnies in this movie. The carny song I thought was pretty funny. The Lucky Ducks. But, <laughs> but I mean, I was entertained, you know. I, th I think you know, it's, it's not real extreme adult humor. You know, it's kind of, it's, I think it's rated PG-13, but I think this movie would have been rated PG when I was a kid. <laughs> it seems so tame. But, anyway. All that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. Thrown on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. Soon to be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. <laughs> but, uh, for what it's worth, I thought the Bob's Burger movie was entertaining. Yeah.